Hello and welcome to Kogamer. And we are trying out Bohemian Killing. And uh, this is the first time I'm playing this game. And I don't know everything, anything about this game. So yeah, let's see what this game is about. And I have only one thing to do right now. And it's press any K to continue. So any K. Let's press number 3. This is uh, the menu in this game. We have play game, options, credits, exit. Options, we have graphics, you can select the graphics. And uh, you can see I am doing uh, four core on PC. And texture should be in oh, the max, or everything is max. That's nice. We have Audi, Audi. <laughs> we have controls. We have uh, Language. So uh, this we should have on. No, no, not working. Or ah, oh, there. Ah, oh no, 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 English. On back. Let's back. Um, begin the the game and uh, see what this is about. New game. This game adapts to shows you make. Each lie can change the verdict for a better or the worse. Paris. Remember during remember that during that testimony you are not creating history, you are lying about what has already happened. Okay. She should be here by now. So let's open the door. No, not open the door. Um, let's see, I can go this way, I can do this way. Mm. T. Yeah, so let's get started. Yeah. Right. So here I have somebody die. Oh my god, it's me uh, which is killing people. Alright, that's me. Bohemian killing! Monsieur Eaton! Monsieur Eaton! Monsieur Eaton, I'm talking to you. I'm sorry, Monsieur le Président, I, I was thinking. Do you understand the indictment? Sorry, but I have to ask the prosecutor to repeat. Monsieur Eaton, do you consider it to be a joke? You're charged with a serious crime. Please stay focused. Monsieur Prosecutor, please continue. As I said, I accuse Alfred Eaton of murdering Marie Capet on the 17th of October 1894 in Paris. That day, Alfred Eaton was at the theatrical premiere of Prométhée, Vol du Feu, which took place at Opéra Garnier. As it is apparent from the testimony of witnesses, the accused left at about 8.30 p.m. before the end of the banquet. At about 9.25 p.m., he rented a room in his name at the Caucasus Hotel, which is adjacent to the building in which he lives. It was in that room 
uh, that approximately at 11:16 p.m. So let's see jump out over it. For a moment, I admired the charms of Mombat. So this I is. I decided uh, to go for an evening walk. Yeah. So now I am making the story done, and uh, let's do a walk. I do not recall that. Nah, he is not recalling for this a moment, part. I, I do not recall that. Part. Let's try again here. Yeah, that worked. I entered the Café de Paris cafeteria. I wanted to drink some good wine and eat a piece of cheese. A group of Parisian rabble tried to throw me out, screaming that there was no room for gypsy thieves. They beat me and threw me into the street. I was all covered in blood. Did you report this fact to police officers? No, Monsieur le Président. I decided that it was not worth losing my time. And where is that? A second of my word is more important than the lifetime of each and every one of those plebeians. Besides, if I had reported it, I would have done them a favor. What do you mean, Monsieur Eaton? In jail, they would have had better living conditions than those holes that they call houses. I understand. Please return to your... I tried to open the door to the restaurant, but it was closed because of the late hour. Next, I threw a few francs to the fountain in the hotel. Apparently, the clerk noticed my state, but the rules of savoir-vivre did not let him make any commentary. I wanted to rent a room in a hotel, but the clerk said that a room had already been rented in my name. He said it's on the top floor and gave me a spare key. I must add that the conversation with this man was not held at about 9.25 p.m. Uh, as according to his testimony, but at a different time. Monsieur Eaton, do you claim that you did not rent that room? Oui, Monsieur le Président. But I knew it could not be a coincidence. The name Ethan is not that common. So you tried to learn more from the clerk? Yes, however he hid behind his professional secrecy. I knew he wouldn't tell me a thing. I do not understand one more thing. You live next to the hotel, so why did you want to rent a room there? Sometimes I meet up with some girls of the Moulin Rouge and Due to my reputation, I prefer not to do it in my apartment. Did you meet Marie Capé face to face? No, Monsieur le Président, never. I understand. Please continue. Yeah, let's continue. So, he... Not... I wanted to share... I took a bath, washing away any traces of blood. I went out into the corridor. I then I opened the door. Okay. I opened the elevator grate. I took the elevator to the ground floor. I opened the elevator grate. I wanted to check the guest book. I couldn't do that with the clerk nearby. Then I looked into the restaurant through the inner window. Later I opened the door and walked out into the street. Then I opened 
the gate. For a moment, I admired the charms of Montmartre. I do not recall that now. For a moment, I admired the charming streets of Montmartre. Advice to torture helpless women is hasty and completely untrue. This letter only proves that the accused was looking for application of his torture machine and had not found any support from Ministère de la Justice, so he decided to test it on an innocent woman. No, I did not. The court not. supports the view that the mere fact of an offer to the Ministère de la Justice does not constitute sufficient evidence that the allegedly accused acted in good faith when creating such a device. Monsieur Eaton, please go back to your... Silence me. Curse the rabble with which I have to share my building. Do you usually have a similar attitude to other people? Do you believe you are better than others? If others treat me like trash just because of my gypsy origin, I do not intend to remain silent. Do you often meet with racist base reluctance to too often, especially since I've become famous. In the eyes of all these fallen lords, I'm a nouveau riche. The poor think I'm a gypsy fraud and a thief. Did you feel hatred towards those people? I did. However, I certainly wouldn't kill anyone. They were not worth it. Please return to your testimony. You noticed some garbage, and what happened? Yeah, what happened next? And that you should see on next gameplay. Because I will do a gameplay of this game. I am hooked. And uh, you're gonna see this gameplay soon. Uh, but right now, that this is all from we try. And uh, we try out, we have tried out this game. And this game is really nice. <laughs>